Boss, let me ask you a question. Are you constantly frustrated that you're not getting the limit that you need on your PenFed credit card? If you are in this situation, I have a good news for you because in today's conversation, I'll be spilling the beans. I'll be sharing with you a few gems that you need to apply today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, today. So you can get actually credit card limit increases every three to six months. Okay, stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now, let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to share with you the uh, a few hacks that will help you actually get credit limit increases every three to six months. This is really important, and we are speaking about PenFed credit card hacks, okay? So... The first thing you need to think about is utilization. The thing is, a lot of people don't tell you this. People say, well, you know, if you want to get uh, credit limit increases, just make sure that your FICO score is up and all, and all that kind of stuff. Yes, your FICO score must be, must be high. This is important. But if you pay attention to your credit utilization ratio, you stand a greater chance of being approved for credit card limit increases. You know why? Because you are showing PenFed. Hey, listen, I'm using the card, but I'm paying off whatever I'm charging on the card. So this is a sign of financial responsibility and financial responsibility is an important criterion for PenFed and all other financial institutions for that matter when it comes to increasing you. This is important, okay? So you want to actually make sure that you pay down your balance early all the time, whatever balance you have, okay? You want to decrease your spending. Son, daughter, I'm talking to you. I want you to decrease your spending. Make sure that you live within your means. That means that, you know, that vacation you want to take to Paris next year, you probably want to scratch that, you know, because you don't have the means to do it right now. I'm not saying don't ever do it. I'm just saying you want to live within your means at this particular time. That's important, okay? You want to try to increase your credit limits across, maybe across all other cars that you have, okay? And never close unused cars. When we talk about making sure that you actually increase your credit utilization ratio, you got to keep all unused cars open unless they are charging you astronomically high annual fees or whatever membership fees okay and if you can actually maybe pay down your credit card balances with a personal loan this could also be a, a, a possibility because when we talk about utilization credit utilization ratio we are speaking primarily about revolving lines of credit very important so credit card credit card credit card son daughter talk to me what is your cur right now what is your credit utilization ratio is it around 20 percent, 30 percent, or is it higher remember when it comes to credit utilization ratio, the lower the better. Okay, twenty percent is about the, the sweet spot. If you can get even, you can go even lower. That's fantastic. Hack number two. So hack number one, you want to lower your credit utilization ratio. Hack number two, if you want to get uh, massive credit limit increases from your PenFed from about on your PenFed credit card every three to six months, I want you to think about full payments. What does that mean? That means that when you charge whatever you charge on the card, you want to pay in full. Now, this requires financial discipline. Don't get me wrong. N not a lot of people can do that. But if you can stick to a plan where you have financial discipline enough that allows you to, ch to pay whatever you charge on the card, you are on your way to getting a high credit limit from PenFed. This is really important. Okay, So pay your balance in full whenever you can. It's very important. People talk about, well, do you want to pay off your credit card or keep a balance because you want the, you want the credit card issuer to win some, to earn something, to charge you some interest. Hey, listen, the bank or credit union that's issuing the credit card makes money already on merchant fees, on processing fees. OK, your your APR, whatever you, you leave open on the card is like bonanza for them. OK, it's additional money. But you. You got to think about your future. You have to think about your, your net worth, right? Think about your wealth. And everything starts with making sure that you pay your balance in full whenever you can. And this should be a ref this should be something automatic. 
just do it okay and the thing here is that you have to think about making sure that when you have a zero balance on the card that means your credit utilization ratio is zero think about that that's just fantastic that means your FICO score will go up okay FICO score will go up and on top of that the lender and in this case PenFed is going to look at your profile and say hey we have a person of financial responsibility. We have a person with financial responsibility, with financial, with a routine that is strong enough to let her say, listen, to let him or her say, we, if, even if we allow this person to have a higher credit limit, they can still manage it. This is just fantastic. So when you carry a balance, you can actually, you can hurt your credit score, right? And it depends on the amount that you carry. As I've said before, if you carry a balance more than 30%, you are actually decimating your credit score. So you want to be in a situation where you're constantly reducing your balance. So money, 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 money. Uncle, aunt, do you have enough money to pay in full, to pay your balance in full each month? If you do, please do it. The third thing I want to talk to you about is uh, when you are trying to get an increase uh, on your PenFed credit card every three to six months, I want you to think about the 0% APR promo. See, the thing here is that PenFed every now and then will send uh, members a 0% APR promo on uh, credit cards, okay? Now, if you don't get an offer, you can still actually pre-qualify or qualify or see if you qualify at a branch or over the phone or online okay this is really good because if you think about it a zero percent intro apr is a promotion that credit card offers in this case benefit offered to new car holders okay and the cool thing here is that this is this could be a chance for you to have the high limit that you need and deserve anyway okay and one thing i want to say here is that when we talk about a zero percent apr now the zero percent intro apr could be on um, balance transfers or purchases and in some cases both okay now keep in mind that uh, penfed traditionally charges a three percent balance transfer fee so if you are like uh, some of us we, who don't like balance transfer fees at all you might want to pass on on that but if you are looking to get you know a pen fed credit card desperately you want to have that card no matter what then go ahead and just uh, get the zero percent intro apr offer that they send you now one thing you need to pay attention to is that you have to understand that you have to be really clear about whether or not the zero percent intro apr applies to balance transfer only to purchases only or to both because there are consequences, there are APR consequences when it comes to uh, the, that distinction. So you want to clarify this with the PenFed first, okay? But one thing I want to say here is that after the 0% intro APR ends, son, daughter, grandpa, grandma, what are you going to do? Are you going to carry a balance or are you going to pay off the, the, the full balance you have accumulated so far? So those are things I want you to think about because uh, those uh, 18 months or those 12 months or those 15 months, they pass real quick okay so the decision i want you to have we have a decision here son daughter uncle and i'm talking to you my decision to you is uh when was the last time you got a zero percent intro apr offer from the from penfed and as a matter of fact are you even uh, see are you even seeking that offer in other words you have you thought about pre-qualifying have you called them up have you, have you called them up you can call them up too and ask a question i mean you're not losing anything, you know, just ask. And if they just uh, approve you, that's fine. If they deny your ass, that's fine too. I want to talk to you now about the fourth hack, which is really important. That's the limit increase itself. What I'm trying to say here is that if you are trying to get a limit increase every three to six months, in most cases, you don't have to ask for it because a pen fed as other credit card issuers, they have automatic uh, they have automatic um, credit card limit increases so but th this depends on the nature of your account it also depends on um, on the movements within the accounts so the nature i'm talking about do you have a a low tier card such as the gold or do you have uh, a high tier card such as the pathfinder signature rewards credit card okay and when we talk about the movements in the accounts we're speaking about the repayment strategy the repayment history okay so if you always maintain a positive payment history in and out i'm talking about in and not just uh, one time or no i'm talking all the time if you are able to maintain that your chances of being approved for uh, being you know getting a credit limit are kind of high 
So this is important. Now, remember that if they don't, if they don't actually automatically increase you, you have the opportunity to make a request online. Okay, you can call your card issuer, you can call PenFed and ask for for uh, an increase. You can apply for a new card also. Yeah, maybe you, it's just better to apply for a new card. Now we all know that a credit limit increase can help you many many ways. Not just give you the purchasing power you need, not just give you the opportunity to earn more cashback rewards and more travel rewards and whatnot. But also gives you the opportunity and this is really important this is an important criterion it gives you the opportunity to lower your cur okay so if you are able to lower your cur this is kind of cool because you are basically telling about see this only works if you're not paying your full balance every month if you are paying your full balance every month you really don't care but if you don't pay your full balance any, every month then having a higher limit credit card could have a positive effect on your cur okay so here is the approach i want you to follow I want you right now to say, okay, when was the last time that PenFed automatically increased my limit? Was it three months ago, six months ago? Was it nine months ago, one year ago? And in the meantime, how was your financial situation overall? Because if they're not calling you, if they're not automatically increasing your faculty, your, uh, your credit card limit, your credit card limits, there might be, there must be a reason, right? I mean, have you been clean, quote unquote, clean financially? talk to me about those things so those are important thing okay so the, the approach you have to keep if, if they have not raised you you want to pick up the phone and call them and when you call them make sure you have a number in mind i want to talk to you about another hack that always works always works that's your income so the thing here the the hack works this way you want to let PenFed know whenever you have an increase in income. Now, I'm not saying if you have like a, if you have like $25 increase in pay at work, you just you just have to call them all the time. No, no, no. You want to be strategic. Let's say you have a big increase. Let's say you were making $25,000 before and uh, all of a sudden after th after two years, you were bumped up to thirty grand, or you were making $35,000 before and after two years or three years, you were bumped up to forty five grand. Those are good news. And the, the good thing is, that kind of good news you don't have to share only with uh with your family member with your spouse or a significant other no you want to share with penfed too especially if you are trying to get a high limit credit card from them I mean, not high limit but you want to increase your limit every three to six months anytime you have a you have some positivity in your income story you want to share that with penfed now how do you share that because people say well should i just go to a branch or should i pick up the phone or what should i do well you do that and more in other words you go to a branch if you live in the vicinity of a, a PenFed branch or you can pick up the phone or you can even go online you go online and you just see in your dashboard in your account dashboard you see whatever uh, the you see the incomes income information and you update the income information there this is important don't underestimate the power of this you know why because PenFed has an algorithm that crawls members data all the time and based on the data they have this is what will determine among other things the credit card offers and the loan offers that you get from PenFed so this is important this is critical information so when we talk about increasing in income levels we are speaking about re receiving a regular raise for example being promoted at work okay if you have a discretionary bonus that was paid to you at the end of the quarter or, or at the end of the year this, those are good news that we need to share Okay, if you have income from other sources, you are running sad gigs and you are making money online or you're making money through Uber, you're making money by babysitting or or pet sitting or whatnot, okay? Or you have investments and lottery winnings. Those could also add some uh, positive uh, balances to your overall income. So those are the things I want you to share with PenFed. So money, 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 money. Please share whatever income increase you have with PenFed. This is really important. I'll be right back, but after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about ways you can automatically and reflexively increase your PenFed credit card limits every three to six months, okay? 
one thing I want you to do, and that's the next hack that I want you to really, a lot of people, a lot of people don't really, um, they don't really understand when we, when we talk about pen fed relationship, banking relationship, people don't understand. Some people ask questions about, well, you know, how do I build a relationship? How do I forge a relationship? Well, the, the whole thing here is, it's not just about letting people know that, you know, letting pen fed know that you are a member. No, when you join when you join this institution, this stellar institution, you want to open more than two accounts. So everything starts from there. So when we talk about relationship, we, we want to have at least two accounts systematically and reflexively. In other words, I don't want you to think about it. Just do it. Okay. Grandpa, grandma, mom, dad. I want everybody to listen here. Uncle, nephew, cuz I'm talking to you. Okay. You want to open an account. You want to open two accounts, a savings account and a checking account. And with PenFed, you want to open an account called America's Access Account. They have other accounts. Don't get me wrong. But if you are trying to benefit from their credit card offers and get all the benefits, you want to have the Access America account that allows you to get more benefits. Okay. So, and uh, the thing is, when we talk about relationships, we're not just stopping at uh, checking and savings account. No. You have to open as many accounts in the PenFest gamut, banking gamut, as possible. All right. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you are trying to buttress your uh, your future wealth management strategy, then open an individual retirement account, an IRA. This could be this could be really good. This is quite essential in trying to, to diversify your sources of income, your sources of, your sources of cash inflows when you reach 65 or, or 60 years old or when, whenever you retire anyway. Okay. Think about MMAs also. So money market accounts are really important. So the point I'm trying to make here is that when we speak about forging a strong relationship with PenFed, we are speaking about having many, many contact points, many interaction points. Now, you know, if you have the more, the better, it, the more accounts you have, the better. OK, in terms of helping you get a credit limit increase a little more. So we're also talking about share certificates of deposits. OK, those are really important. So here are a few pro tips, a few pro tips when you join Navy Fed or after you, you have joined them for a while. Make sure you always have always more than two accounts, at least two accounts with them, at least two accounts. That way, and make sure that the balances in those accounts are kind of uh, are decent too. I'm not asking you to to keep like a peanuts in uh, those accounts and say, you know, at least I have those. I have two accounts and I can build a relationship. No, you need to keep some balance. You know, some season, some reasonable deposit in there. I want to talk to you now about share loan. This is something that a lot of folks actually uh, underestimate. And uh, one thing is important you, you need to understand is that you, you want to use a share certificate secure loan to consistently boost your ability to receive a high limit credit card from PenFed. You can also use that to boost your credit score also. OK, so when we talk about now PenFed share loan is only available to members, but you have to see it internally. So there's no link about this. When you look at their public website, you got to log into your account. And once you log into your account, you will see a link to actually applying for a share secure loan. OK, this is really important. W what you're trying to do here is that you're trying to use a loan. This is your own money anyway. OK, this is a, a secure loan. So you're using, using your own money to boost your FICO score. And so this also helps increase your PenFed next gen internal score, not just your FICO score, because a lot of folks get it twisted when they think that you are increasing only your FICO score. No. You are also increasing your PenFed next gen internal score. Now there is a strong correlation between your PenFed, your PenFed next gen internal score and your FICO score because both run from 300 to 850. Okay, and both also uses some criteria, some similar criteria. The only difference is that PenFed has its own set of criteria, additional criteria to gauge their member, their members' uh, credit worthiness. Okay, this is very important. So. Um, make sure that you use your share loan to uh, to raise your FICO. It is a pretty easy way because it is your money and you just have to have financial discipline. You just need to have a payment history, a routine of payment history to make sure that you get the right, the, the, um, the right loan and uh, the right payment history, the right payment pattern. Okay. And the good thing is that it is really easy. To, it is pretty easy to be approved for because you, you, it is a secure loan. So PenFed is not losing anything. They're just uh, lending you their own, your own money. So big decision time, big decision time. When was the last time, boss? When was the last time you have applied for 
and being approved for a share loan, a PenFed share loan. My point to you is that this could be a possibility. This could be a possibility to raise your FICO score, your PenFed next gen internal score, and your odds when it comes to getting uh, credit limit increases every three to six months. So those are really, really important. And those now, I'm not saying you have to apply all the hacks that I just said today, but you can apply for you can apply one or two hacks at any point and see you know what really works for you. Thank you so much for your your attention. I really appreciate it. So I was talking to you about the pen fed credit card hacks that helps you. They help you uh, always get credit limit increase. We have a lot of increases all over time. So we have utilization, full payment, zero percent APR promo limit increase your income your relationship with penfed and your sh your use of share loads thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it god bless you i'll see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous